Hi, and welcome to Smoke Training. In this part six of the Connect Effects series, we'll show you how to convert existing timeline effects into a node-based Connect Effects composite. We'll take a look at the simple process of converting these timeline effects and explore the benefits of taking timeline effects into the Connect Effects workspace. Smoke 2013 lets us easily add effects directly to our timeline. Simply by selecting a clip on the timeline and hitting the Control Tab keyboard shortcut, we have access to a number of effects to help us enhance our edit. These timeline effects give us quick access to the most common parameters that can be changed. The effect area above the timeline gets populated with controls depending on what effect is selected. If we have multiple effect types added to a clip, clicking on the effect type here will change the parameters which are displayed in the central effect area. When more than just a simple change is required, each effect has an advanced mode. By accessing the advanced editor of any of the added timeline effects, you get access to the full toolset that the effect provides. When you find you need even further control in manipulating your images, this is when we jump into Smoke 2013's visual effects compositing workspace, Connect Effects. In our earlier tutorials, we sent clips from our timeline to Connect Effects. When we send clips to Connect Effects that have no timeline effects added to them, we are effectively starting with a blank canvas. However, if you have a number of effects already applied to segments in your timeline, you can send the segment to Connect Effects telling Smoke to recreate the effects as nodes. Select a clip that already contains timeline effects. Now bring up the effects type Choose a pop-up using the keyboard shortcut, Control tab Here's the crucial part. Normally you would choose Create Connect Effects. We still do that, but first, make sure you select the box beneath with the option Generate Composite. This will take the existing timeline effects and convert them into a Connect Effects composite. Here you can see that Smoke has recreated the effect using the appropriate nodes inside the ConnectFX workspace. Back on the timeline now, let me just show you what happens if you don't check the Generate Composite option. If we have a segment that has timeline effects added to it, and we send the clip to ConnectFX in the usual manner, that is, without selecting the Generate Composite option, the clip is sent, but none of the timeline effects are converted. When you exit back to the timeline, any connect effects you added will be there, and also the original timeline effects are added on top. Take a crop effect for example. If we send the clip to connect effects without the generate composite option, and say we add in a 2D transform node to resize and rotate the image inside of connect effects, well, when we return back to the timeline, we will have the connect effects applied to the clip as you'd expect, but also the crop effect we added to the timeline will also be present. As you can see, the cropping has happened after the resize we added in Connect Effects. Connect Effects settings appear on a clip first, and any timeline effects are processed or added last in the effect chain. It's worth pointing out that if you have multiple items selected when accessing the effects menu on the timeline, the option to Generate Composite is already selected. Being able to take existing timeline effects and convert them into a node-based composite not only gives you access to the huge toolset of Connect Effects, but it is also an extremely useful method of learning as you are able to see exactly how Smoke constructs the effect using nodes. That brings to a close part six of this series, introducing Smoke 2013's visual effects compositing environment, Connect Effects. Thank you for watching. In our next episode, we'll look at the different options available to you when creating Connect Effects on the Smoke 2013 timeline. <laughs>